You know that Sony released a new video creator app with the Xperia 5 Mark V. This is now available also for the Xperia 1 Mark V. You can find it in the Play Store, maybe even the 1 Mark IV and 5 Mark IV and even older models. Just search for video creator by Sony on the Play Store and you might find it. I click on open here and we can start by creating a new project. We have all our media files here and I go on to videos and choose those three files here to edit them. And I click on custom edit instead of auto edit. And what this does is loads them into the editor. And now I have the flexibility to edit the footage. You can see if I would, would have put it in the wrong position, I have the possibility to adjust the position just by clicking on position here. And I could change it the way I want to. I just drag it and reposition it, which is quite easy. Uh, so we have the start here. What we can do is like click on a clip and then we have some special options like speed up, volume, filter, adjust the clip, rotate or copy or replace even. When I go out of it, we have some other options like import, add music, add text, add a filter, adjust or export settings. Export settings is quite interesting because we can export the whole video, of course, in with different settings here, up to 4K and I think it's 60 frames per second if you want to. In this case, it's a YouTube Shorts, so I leave it at 1080p 30 because yeah, 4K would not give me any benefits. What I'm missing here somehow are like transitions, for example, or something like if I click on adjust, I have the possibility to adjust the exposure, the highlight, the shadows, the saturation, temperature and sharpness, or add a filter. But what I cannot do is um, opacity, for example. So not like a smooth um, blend in from black or something like this. Transition is not possible. And the same goes where you can see it when I go to the end of a clip to another clip. I don't have the possibility to change transitions here, which is a little bit of a bummer, I would say. I can say I'll change the position, copy and replace, speed up and split, but I have no possibility to yeah, set a transition here for now. This is at least in this early version. So we have to live with it, uh, yeah, skipping the transition, but we can add text. So let's try to add text here and I can just enter my text here and I will say drag, uh, drag and drop file copy iOS versus Harmony OS. And this is once should be my title. I have the possibility to drag it wherever I want to. It's a bit of laggy. I can even like make it, I think, a little bit smaller. There we go. And I have the possibility to choose the color if I want to and choose the font. So I can choose another font here, which looks like this, or the more condensed one, or the default one, which is this here. Maybe this one here looks good. And I can only choose the foreground color, apparently. Uh, I don't have any options like to change, uh, for example, yeah, a glow around or adding a shadow to the text or something like this is not possible here with this. And I can drag, however, the text, how long it should uh, stay there as it is a YouTube Shorts or TikTok video. I will drag it throughout the whole video. Uh, what I would usually do is like some kind of effect for the text, like smooth animation, zoom in and, and, and move out but it's not possible here right now. So we only have like those basic edits, but when I click on play, you can see it will just appear there. And uh, yeah, there's no transition here between those two clips. So it just stops here and the other one starts. So really like Sony to add maybe the possibility to edit this as well. This could help dramatically with uh, this kind of uh, video editing software. Otherwise, we have a very basic video editing software for now, so it's nothing that can compete against the likes of CapCut, of KineMaster, uh, or KineMaster, no matter what you talk, how you want to pronounce it, uh, LumaFusion that's also available for Android right now, or other editors that you might know uh, that yeah, are more advanced than this VN editor, by, uh, for example. So. Yeah, what do you think about this video editor? And then, of course, yeah, adjust. I have the possibility again, like I said, to adjust some options. There's the same basically as filters, but with filters and directly those two filters. And here I can adjust. You can see we have uh, a few filters here that change the look a little bit. So if I want to have a bit more contrasty kind of look, I can choose this or more natural kind of look. And I think the natural one is not much of a change. I have the possibility also like to say how much of this look should be applied there, which is quite interesting, but I'm just pressing on the look. 
So here, for example, the contrast you look at press is 70%. I can go to 100%. You can see it's like doing it a little bit more there. Or I can go less, which is also a nice addition that I have here. Or I can adjust stuff here manually, like the highlights, for example. Um, shadows, saturation, temperature, and sharpness. So I have the possibility to adjust this here. But this is basically everything that you can do here with the... Uh, video creator app of course there's also the auto edit option that will add like music to your um, uh, videos automatically which is also pretty nice but we just had to hit the export button here and see what will happen it's pretty fast in exporting i would say it's only exporting 1080p 30 here but uh, should be no issue at all it's a pretty basic app i think for like this little tiktoks video or youtube shorts it might be enough when it comes to like all this animation effects and so on, I would mm, recommend Sony to add those as well. A little bit of transitions and animations. Just take a look at the CapCut's uh, pedal clip, uh, VN and other editors, how they are doing it. Because this one would work a little bit better with those added. What do you think about the Video Creator app here on the Sony device?